Okay, today is the day. I am taking the grill off. I'm going to put the new one on and I'm painting that A-frame. Accompanied by the cat and the pup. If you can see her. So I need to pull this, this, that, 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 and that. All you gotta do is pull it with a flat driver and it'll pull right out. I thought for a good temporary hold, if you pull your fuse panel cover, you can put all your clips in here and just set it right there. The grill connects behind here, up here, and on the bottom, right down there. All it needs is a tug, and it pulls right off. God, that's a painful sound here. And it's off. And there's your ugly A-frame. My task will be to paint that off. I'll probably clean all this up and paint it and make it look a little bit better too. Now since we all know this A-frame is hideous as sin, we're going to paint this up. Uh, and got soapy water. So we'll scrub it off. Dry it off. Let it dry a little naturally in the nice, finally warm day we have in Pennsylvania. Get the nearby surrounding area, and I'll go a little extra on the paint. It's just soapy water and a sponge that I don't need. It does look like GM did coat it, but whatever coating they used sucked as far as heat goes. This looks like it's going to be a pain in the ass because that I was hoping to put an LED bar there, but it's not a three-quarter ton Duramax, so I don't have the space for it. So I wonder what the best way will be. Maybe have to mount things here and get it across that. I don't know. But I really would like to do a uh, behind the lower grill bar mount. So we'll see what we can do. Alright, we're going to wipe it down to dry and let it dry well, and then we're going to get to busy masking. <laughs> well, I'm done masking, and I'd say uh, half-ass is not in my vocabulary. <laughs> so, I just don't like the idea of spraying the radiator, so I cut up an old box and did all this. Planning on getting all of this frame, which is welded right here, so I had them do a lot of mask. And this is some of the leftover... Uh, tarp drop cloth crap that I had from the grill project. I'm gonna paint these up just to get it done. All these are like nylon clips or whatever anyway. Get this all painted. I covered the inside of the latch because I didn't like the idea of painting that up. I usually like to just shoot grease in it and call it good. But yeah, here's <laughs> the truck masked off just a little bit. <laughs> and it's a uh, Probably like 45 degrees, but you know what? I already did all this work. We're doing it today. We're spraying it. <laughs> These lines, they were already painted, so I was like, well, why not? Let's just tame them again. And uh, part of this cooler line here, I mean, it's hard to see, but there are a couple veins in there, but I'm just going to spray the whole thing because it was once coated. Well, I did my best to uh, scratch up and destroy the old surface with some uh, 600 grit sandpaper. So... That way we have a little bit better prep. I already washed it with soap water and we're gonna give it a little time to dry and then we are going to head it all up. It really sucks. Just all this 
little bit here, all this mask and prep. <laughs> I'm gonna use this. <clears throat> I'm not gonna bother with a primer. I'm just gonna shoot all this up. It should stay well protected from the elements, as this is. It's just these bars right here is what drives me nuts. Everything else you can't see. I'm just gonna freshen up for the hell of it anyway. So, we're gonna give that a little bit more time to dry and then we're gonna come back out, paint this up, and make it look newer and better looking than it has been before. So, I'm about to spray the grill with uh, some not so promising looking weather. This is not good. a great sign, but <laughs> there's no turning back now. It's getting sprayed. We do have rain expected tomorrow, but I'm not overly worried about, you know, it peeling about under here. So, let's get on with it. So I'm working on the grill right now on the wet sanding part. So I wanted to do a little quick uh, visual aid as far as what it looks like after clear coat. So after clear coat, it's good and shiny, right? But there's no clarity. It's actually very, very orange peeled. So the point of the wet sand, if anybody ever wonders why the, their do-it-yourself job comes out like that, the wet sand will smooth it out. And once you polish compound it, that's when you really bring out the depth and the clear coat's a lot smoother, everything looks so much better. So, I have not wet sanded this yet. And here's the piece that I've already done. Damn near a mirror, look at that. Now it's taken about five or six times wet sanding it with two, uh, 2000 grit. And there's still some areas that aren't perfect. Like right in here, it's a little dark and hazy, but over here, it's like a gloss mirror. At least that's what I see in person. And, you know, there's still some stone chips because I opted out of using filler primer, so shame on me. In the end, I mean, it's a little harder to get that end good because it's so much easier to sand right here. You're just going back and forth. And I'm trying not to like be sideways and whatnot too, you know. Have a paint drip in there, so that's kind of unfortunate. But I mean, from afar, no big deal, you know. Look at it. I started polishing up this chrome as well with a compound. There is quite the difference, huh? Now, automotive grade from a paint shop would be much better, but by far, I mean, I did this with my own hands. Looks good. It's gonna be perfect for that truck. So, we're gonna get on with the project. Now may I present you the whole point of painting those arms. Yes. Nice, rich, flat black. This is just enough to look nice when you're taking things apart, servicing whatnot, and you see stuff. And it got these arms nice and clean. So much nicer looking. All that prep mass just to paint all up in here. <laughs> I might actually bring the can back out and hit those just a little bit more. But probably not. I mean, it should be alright. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Let's see if I get a board spot. <laughs> but the arms look so much better. They're not going to be seen as easily while driving down the road. See, you know, you see those bars through the grill. I mean, I hate that so much. It's like, what the hell? But... So much of a better look. Nice, flat, simple black. Keeps it looking new. Keeps it being unsightly through the grill. And this is why it is worth it, ladies and gentlemen. Would you just look at that? Would you just look at it? <laughs> oh man, so I painted those ends. They looked that good. I painted this emblem that was already on the grill. I think I should have probably 
wet sanded that just a tad more but I think it's all good no more gray grill mesh flat emblem nice black thick honeycomb grill with a very glossy emblem this is gonna look great all right everybody time for the reveal I got it on oh it looks so good looks awesome ready yes so much yes <laughs> oh it looks fantastic and to believe that I spray painted those put the time and effort in for the oh god this looks so good put the time and effort in for the polishing compound wet sanding and all that jazz oh it looks awesome there's a little bit of a blemish here but it doesn't break my heart but just just to do it on my own I mean that that looks great it has gloss it's done really good and it just finishes that look the best cat eye look possible right there the factory 05 to 07 HD 06 07 half ton classic best by far and now you can see in here another reason why I wanted that a-frame painted because then all that ugly ugliness would be showing now if I want anything showing under there, it's gonna be a LED bar. <laughs> but by far, like just a dominating look. The best cat eye look right there. I love it. Looks awesome.